Hi, so as you can see, we're doing something a little different today. Tea in America, as in like high tea, isn't really a big thing. Something that sometimes you do if you want to feel fancy or have a nice girls out lunch kind of thing. And where I live, there's really no place that does it. Well, I say no place, but I found one. So today, we're going to be doing American Girl Tries High Tea. So let's go in and see what we find. So it was super cute in here. They had teapots all around the room for decoration. If I could find like those Santa Claus teapots or that owl or any of those that looks like little houses, I would totally start a teapot collection of my own. There was a full page on the menu that was just different types of tea. It took us quite a while to decide what we wanted. Now this is a full restaurant, so they do things other than just high tea as well. So this is a look at a few of the other things on the menu. Because it was lunchtime, we went with the Victorian tea that came with quiche and soup or salad, as well as the other tea accoutrement. Our tea was served in more adorable pots that they put on these little candle holder things to help keep the tea warm. This one that I'm trying first is a Moroccan mint. I love mint tea. It was really good to start, but as the meal progressed, it oversteeped and got kind of bitter. It was a zucchini quiche, which I was a little skeptical about, but ended up being really delicious. And I ordered the broccoli and noodle soup. And we also had a two-tiered tray of all kinds of goodies. After the soup and quiche, we started on the tea sandwiches. There was pimento cheese, which was my favorite, then cucumber and cream cheese, and chicken salad. I know the cookie cutter shapes aren't quite authentic, but I thought they were adorable. Then I tried the other tea we ordered. This was the Grandma's Garden flavor, which was a strawberry, mango, and peach. This was absolutely delicious. Then on to the sweet things. This first bit here was what they were calling a scone. I like that they used the heart-shaped cookie cutter, but it was in no way an authentic British scone. It was more of an American scone in the sense that it was s'more flavored with chocolate chips and a marshmallow glaze, but it didn't even have the right texture. It more had the texture of a muffin. The eclair and the strawberry were pretty self-explanatory and good, but the best thing on the plate was this little bonbon truffle thing. It was filled with like, it was almost like a cake pop. I would eat a dozen of those. And then there was this lemon blueberry cake that was very reminiscent of a lemon drizzle cake, but the glaze on the top was a bit more like frosting. The blueberries were a nice touch, though. Well, that was a lot of fun. And I know not everything there was completely authentic. Like, I know that's not what a British scone is like. I know that high tea doesn't really come with quiche and soup. I got the extra because it was lunch. Uh, but all in all, it was good and everything was tasty. So if you're in England, what do you think about that? Um, what was right? Other than the obvious things I've mentioned, what was wrong? Let's have a conversation. But let me know down below. I'm interested in your thoughts. I think if I find another place that does a high tea, I will definitely try it again. But that's all I've got for this time. So if you'd give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!